G'day, it's Rusty from Rusty's Metal Cut Signs and Designs. And in today's video, we're actually gonna cut our first customer sign. Um, our first paying customer come from a, an ad I put on Facebook where I showed a uh, seven key key holder that I'd made. And from that, uh, a friend of mine said they'd like one. And here is this uh, key holder. Um, it has a holding emblem on the top and it has provision for seven keys. And I was sick of um, having a whole bunch of keys dumped on the little plate we had in the kitchen. So I went with this. Oh, there's Roy barking. Yeah, so they want theirs in, in black. It matches his, his, his black Commodore that he's got. And we just got his name cut in here as well, just as a, as a personal touch. So I'll just show you what that design looked like. We did it in Inkscape and yeah, fairly easy process. And I've got the basis of that um, whole template and we can just change different things. We can change this top emblem to something else. We, we, can, we can put anything else in here. And of course we can make this bigger or smaller. This is the seven key and it's 245 uh, millimeters wide and it stands about 219 until I bend the fingers up. And I'll show you once we've cut it, how, how we bend the fingers up. Now this is the uh, seven key key holder with the Holden emblem that I created um, for myself and I listed it online for sale and a friend of mine got in touch and said they really like one in black and she wanted it for her husband Benny so we add the little added the personal touch here we just put his name in here he doesn't know it's coming so uh, yeah we'll, we'll take this out to the plasma table and we'll run through the cut and then we'll show you how we clean it up and paint it. And apologies for the glare on the screen. So we've got the MyPlasm software open. This is the design. We've told the, uh, we've used this project position point here to tell it that the torch is now in the bottom corner, bottom left hand corner. And this is the design we're going to cut. We've scaled it 245 by 220, which is what it is. The cut path is, is ready to go. We'll come over here and Hit the start button. Alright, so here is the piece straight off the cutter. Um, I'll just flip it up here and show you. Alright, uh, the end didn't fall out, it's pretty close. A couple of the other little inserts didn't come out. So, alright, we'll take this over onto the other bench and we'll, we'll clean it up and I'll just show you what we do to clean it and get it ready for painting. This key holder has a little bit of um, build up on the front and on the back you'll see, on the back you'll see this, this, um, slag some people call it dross um, wire wheel will get that off and if not any of the harder bits i just hit them with a flappy wheel so i'll just get into that and i'll just clean this up now for clean up i typically use this um, cone shaped wire wheel on a four inch angle grinder and over here i've got a 120 grit flappy wheel on my battery grinder and that usually does the trick Now that the sign's all clean, uh, cleaned all the um, dross slag off the back of it and cleaned up the front, what I do before I paint these, if I was going to leave that and it was going to be uh, just rusty metal, I'd leave it as it is. But I've got this pan here and I'm actually going to soak it in some cleaning vinegar. No, sorry, yeah, cleaning vinegar. This is the uh, product I'm using. Uh, it's uh, available at supermarkets and it is not meant to be eaten or stuck on your fish and chips. So it is a product that I'll just soak this in for a couple of hours. I'll just pour this in the pan now, just to cover it basically. And all it's going to really do is just clean that scale off the, off the top of the metal and give me a cleaner surface to paint with. 
So we'll leave it there a couple of hours and come back later and we'll pull it out and wash it and get some paint on it. Well the key holders had three hours in the vinegar so I'm going to take it out now and try to do this one handed here if I can get it without. Okay so it needs to be washed and I'm just going to wash it in a tub of water and I need to put some gloves on for this so I'm just going to dump it in there and I'll show you when I've finished it. Now here's the uh, key holder, it's been, I just washed it in some, just some water and I dried it with a towel. Now all I need to do now is hit it with a heat gun just to dry the surface, make sure it's nice and dry because I don't want it to get any surface rust on it. So I'll, I'll just do that now. Right, so that's that's dry now and before I paint it what I need to do is bend those fingers up so I'm just got a little jig here I'm gonna put it on the bench and I'll just show you this jig how I bend these little fingers up for the keys now the way I bend the little fingers up to hold the keys on is to lay a piece of 40 by 10 flat bar on the edge and I just measured five mil down from where the finger joins and I'm just gonna hang that over the uh, bench clamp that down and also clamp a piece of angle iron on top so what that does is allows me to bend the finger up 90 degrees along the 10 mil flat of the flat bar and then bend it back further against the 45 degree angle of the angle iron and I just do that for all of them and once I've got all them in place just line them up make sure they're all square uh, and and just tap them if I need to so that's the way I do it so Apologies for the muffled sound, but I've got a mask on. So always wear a mask when you use these rattle cans or any spray painting. And I'm just going to give it a coat of grey undercoat. So I'll give that 15-20 minutes to dry, come back and have a look at it. If it needs another coat, I'll give it another one. And then we'll paint it with two or three coats of the black gloss that they've requested so when it's painted I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you and show how it looks well here's the key holder now it's painted it's had three coats of um, gloss black so that's the color they wanted really happy with the way it came out and I'm sure Benny will be too and his name there as uh, a little personal touch as I said before so this is my first um, paying customer so that's that's, that's a nice um, milestone to, to reach after building the table so if you like the video, a thumbs up would be appreciated. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button's down here. And if you haven't seen the, the series where we built this, this um, plasma culling table, I'll put a link up here and you'll be able to go back and have a look at the six videos in the series. So if you have any questions about the keyhole or how I designed it or, or any of that, please put your comments below. I'll, I'll certainly answer those. And uh, thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.